The SHEP approach is an agricultural extension method to transform farmers' mindset from grow and sell to grow to sell. The SHEP approach promotes market-oriented production and improves sales methods to raise farmers' incomes. Agricultural extension activities for farmers are implemented following a four-step sequence. Developed in Kenya in 2006, the SHEP approach is now spread to about 50 countries. The participants of the SHEP activities are now able to talk about their experiences and accomplishments in their own words. Let's hear what they have to say as we go along with the four steps. The first step is share goals with farmers. The concepts, aims, and the vision for achieving market-oriented agriculture under the SHEP approach are shared. This is done not only with farmers, but also with all the stakeholders responsible for agricultural extension. In this workshop, we share with them as well the vision and the goal of the ZimShape approach and why it's beneficial for the farmers to take it up as a sure way to improve their livelihood and incomes. The farmers, after explanation, they light up on their faces. They feel they want to rear on and go on and start the ZimShape approach in their irrigation schemes. And I started to know, okay, they came to teach us farming is a business. Big ones. I just uh, used it to grow crops without finding any market here and uh, just uh, randomly. But now from this sensation I got, I learned that I have to find a market first so that I know where to sell my crops. The second step is farmer's awareness is raised. This step creates opportunities for farmers to become aware of areas of improvement in their farming. Participatory baseline surveys, stakeholder forums, market surveys, and gender and family budgeting training are conducted in this step. Through the market survey, the farmers are able to understand how the markets operate, the new information from the market. It is the basis of empowerment for the farmers. La verdad, el programa Chef aprendí. I learned some valuable things through market surveys. I found many things, including how to sell the beans that I had grown. Talking to traders, I researched who would buy my produce for higher prices, and I started to carefully choose buyers for my produce. The third step is farmers make decisions. Based on the results of market surveys, farmers make their own decisions on which crops they will grow. They also prepare a crop calendar. It is an annual plan for harvesting quality and quantity that meets market needs and at a time when it can be sold at a higher price. A crop calendar is created when crop plans are formulated. There are so many information in this crop calendar. When we see the middle part, the middle part is important for our farmers because most of our farmer is not writing and reading. The fourth step is farmers acquire skills. Farmers learn the skills required to grow crops that meet market needs. Because farmers can learn the skills they want to acquire, they are highly motivated which results in raised adoption rates of recommended technologies. Uh, they are using some, some techniques in storage, for example, for, for potato. Uh, that increases the shelf life of the, of the commodity, and therefore it's able to achieve higher, price, higher prices from the market because they can keep in storage for a longer time and they're able to coincide selling uh, with the time when prices are high on the market. So, in short, Farmers are really in, uh, adopting these techniques. Uh, there's an example, of course, in tomato. Uh, farmers just used to plant anyhow. Now they are staking, and then the quality of tomato is also very good uh, because of those simple techniques that they are using. We were tilling the land and planting without any proper procedure. 
But, after introducing the chef approach, we were taught how to prepare a good nursery that raises good seedlings. Through the chef approach, farmers are using information that they collected to engage more actively in farming as a business. As a result of changing from the traditional grow and sell method to the grow to sell method, nearly all farmers have made significant improvements in their incomes. JICA will continue to collaborate with various partners in the field of agriculture and contribute to the empowerment of smallholder farmers by converting them from subsistence farming to market-oriented farming.